Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here, fine-tunedcbshop.com We got here, it looks like a 955, it's a 655. On the feature differences, there's plenty of places you can look it up, check it out. There isn't that much of a difference really, but there is. I'll get into that here shortly. Okay? Anyways, let's look at the blood and guts, what most people like to see. It's cold, so it's keying up. I had it warm before. You can see it's up there pretty good. Power's wide open. And it's producing what we're looking for. As we can see, 21, 22. And the important part, kill that top back. PEP will always be the most important part of your power at any power period. Anyone disagrees, just laugh at them. There are plenty of videos on that topic, and we'll cover that again here a little bit shortly. I'd run this one. Okay, see, we got a little over 60. Just, just call it 60. I'd run it at half power. Around, say, 15, 15 watts. Now that's cold. Once it warms up, it's going to drop down a little bit. It's nice and clean and clear. Still rocking. It's not that much less on your peak or peak to peak. Big difference, by the way, between peak and peak envelope power. You should always listen to when people are telling you that if they have a clue what the difference is. We'll get into that a little bit too. This thing will run here for a long time like this and not really get hot. And we can turn it way down. It's a nice, fairly linear signal all the way through. But we're taking it from one extreme to another. All right, so back to full power again. Now, by the way, I, I could do the frequency response the same as I do on the 955s on these. Awesome sound, cut through the rest of them, watt for watt, like they're not there. Crystal clear. No bleed splatter. Okay, well, what, what, what did we just see there? We've seen 60 watts, right? All right, cool. Awesome. So, remember, PEP, you hear this other crap? They don't have a clue what average is. They don't even know how to calculate it or do the math. <laughs> so, okay, 60 watts. All right. Divide that by, well, 2 is 30. Well, that's really simple. Can we get this thing in there, kind of? Okay. All right, so 30 watts times angular degrees of 0.707 equals 21. Hey, we just seen that. An average would be hmm, the 17 watts plus 21 divided by 2 for an average. And then, okay, and then the mean would be the full spectrum. Okay, average is always lower than continuous. Average doesn't really mean a lot. It's the continuous where your actual effective power is. Alright, so now we can say, alright, 21 watts. Now let's now follow me now and then get out your paperwork, and start studying. All you gotta do is start checking out some of my videos. Or go to the ARRL handbook. I found that they're fairly accurate. I found a couple flaws in their RMS equations. Got it figured out though. So anyways, it's old school stuff. It's just old school. So now we know what 0.707 is. Actually, it's, you know, AC volt squared divided by the load, which is 50 ohms. Okay. That'd be watts divided by 2 for peak times 0.707. All right. And from 4 to 1, it's a quarter of the carrier power. 
times 0.636, you know, for average. But anyways, let's take a look. We got 21 watts, right? Continuous. Continuous is only derived one K-tone injection mic socket, all right? On a tuned bench. No tuned bench? Well, we may as well hang it up. Like a box of hot chocolates. You never know what's going to be inside. So let's say times... Follow me now. You're going to like this. It's really simple. 2.828. That's the number. It's never no other number. If you hear another number, screwballs, okay? Alright, anyways. Equals. <laughs> it's damn close to 60, ain't it? Like, really damn close? Here, take a look. I'd call that 60. Now, hey, let's take that number right there. Clear this. Let's say 2.828. Divide that by 4 equals. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Alright? Let's go on this a little bit further. And again, we're not going to go through the frequency response every day. Identical. I can do the exact same things. Now what I want to go on with here, we're going to go direct. Okay? I want to show you the 73 down. And then plus the attenuator at 12 dB sine head. Uh, I'm too many things here at once. Now we're going to go straight to the uh, ARP generator that has a certification calibration. The seals aren't cut. No hoodoo, voodoo, magician, gimmick games. I mean, I see too much bullshit on... I don't even look at Facebook shit no more. Even on YouTube, it's ridiculous. It's alright. We're here to show you guys <clears throat> what's really up. You want what I can do? It's only money. But you'll be heard further, clearer, get more compliments, and here are things that others can't, providing you follow directions. Alright, so let's go like this. Put this puppy in. And now we're going to receive. Okay, I don't know if you can read this or not. The noise drives me nuts. It's reading 32, but we're going to. Drop this down. Now, normally out of the box, these are like 104 or 105 at negative 112 dB down. Okay, Get everything wide open. That's what they normally are. Let's see how far this one goes down. On a real bench. Not just hocus pocus and stuff sticking around. You know, trying to baffle you. Real stuff. So what? This is what really matters. This is what simulates the real world. Not someone's opinion. You know? Okay, 113. Must pay attention to something else been called to my attention about a couple other videos, someone trying to play games. When you see a generator like this, not your just typical B and K precision, I mean a real one. You have multiple functions and features on this device. This is 22 pieces of test equipment all in one. One of these days I'll go through all of it. Click the subscribe button, click like, all right, get me motivated. So anyways, this one right here, let's go back, right here, this AF generator, let me get you in there a little bit. Am I blowing some people's cover? I hope so, because you're pissing me off playing games. Don't play games. Alright. So there's generator 1. AM or FM. And auto out, which I can inject. Okay. You can see me on the controls here. And here's all the controls over here. 
But anyway, let's get back over here. When you're doing straight AM, you use one generator at 30% modulation. Okay? So if that's increased, you see the 30, it just throws everything off. It would be misrepresentation, it'd be a lie, a con artist type of thing. <clears throat> Another one, okay, would be as if they turn this one on. Okay? See how it's off? It was off because I had it set to FM completely off, but it's off. You know, it automatically goes to 30%, see? So now we're going to turn this one back off again by showing zero. Now it's on AM. Alright, so now if we would increase this one 30%, it's not exactly 60% modulation, but pretty much. So let me show you the difference it would create. First is, we'll just say 20. Okay. Volume back up. I'll make them even. So now it's reading. Turn it down a little bit. 15. So if we come back over here and turn it down, that's reading 17 at 12 dB sine add down, 16, 17. That'd be very misleading, wouldn't it? Or maybe just someone made a mistake. <laughs> Always pay attention. Make sure that they can show you, and not just real quick. Make sure that you can get focused in there and look at it. If they got stickers and stuff for seals, mine are all in the back, which are still intact. Okay. Make sure nothing's cut because just like these meters, you know, I got a good meter, it's 4314C, and nothing can be changed in it. The way you tell if these meters are affected is when you key and unkey because there's no other adjustment besides the zeroing it out right here and then making the carrier and uh, the peak equal when you key. Because if you see someone keying and then modulating it without watching the carrier, like the key, you see the carrier. You notice how I always pause, always let you see it, and then I modulate. It. If they just modulate it and show you some goofy screwball shit run stay away from them literally all right let's get back down in here all right so now we know what that is what i want to tell you is you can save 75 bucks on buying one of these it's not the radio's fault it's not it wouldn't be your fault it'd be the fault of the chop shop butcher that screws up for instance your neighbor's radio or the guy down the street, if they hacked it up, it's going to bleed over on these. These don't have crystals like uh, sideband radios do without getting too complicated or in-depth. See, uh, a crystal has like a cutoff frequency, okay? Poof. It just cuts it off. I'm going to show you in this camera. It just cuts it off at a certain point where capacitor has a vector and it just tapers off and it just tapers off at so many dB where for instance a crystal would cut it off chop okay these don't have those these ain't side these ain't sideband radios so if you're always on Sesame Street channel 19 your driver hey you might experience a little bit of bleed over some guy at a truck stop somewhere turn the RF gain down a little bit you know, that's all it would really take. You know, I, I, a lot of people have asked me about these. And it's, it's constantly, literally hundreds of people. And I tune them for people, but I don't sell them. But I do understand about, you know, money. 75 bucks is 75 bucks. I don't care where you go. That's going to be the difference. Like $75. Difference is, you know, a subtraction. So if you're interested in something like this, you want to get in one of these. And by the way, they're a little cleaner... Then uh, let's let's get back into that. Then the newer 955s. 
so if you do run it <coughs> ramp, okay, they're clean. Clean is mean in so many different ways. Remember, do the math, I put it in front of you all the time. It is what it is, exactly. No bullshit. You know me, no bullshit. Right. Here's the impressive part. That's wide open. Right. Can I get a couple more watts out of it? A couple. Would they be worth it? They'd be like negative, all right? Less power. Only the meter would show more. That's where it's at. There's something I could help you with. Let me know, get in touch with me on Facebook. It's hard drive. FineTuneCBShop.com and I'm out of here. Click, click. Click subscribe if you learned anything. <laughs>